Hey guys, Patriot coming to you tonight with a driver bit shoot off. Don't be confused, this actually is part three of my impact driver series. And I can't tell you how glad I am that this series or this testing is complete. It was, <laughs> it was really tiring. In fact, that's why it took me so many days to get up this final, this third part, because th these bits were so good that it, it just took a long time to, uh, to get through the test. What you're looking at right now on the table are the two contenders, the Bosch number two Phillips, and this is the, the rib tipped. These are not specifically designed for impact tools, but I think you'll see that they did very good. And the impact designed Makita Gold. Now the reason that I picked this Bosch number two rib tip over here is because this was the champion over at Pro Tool Reviews. If you go to a section called Impact Driver Bits, are they worth the money? And I'll put a link in the description for this video. If you go over there, you'll see that this was by quite a ways their champion and they tested at least six or eight different bits. It was very, very well done. I grabbed this one because it was new and uh, Makita typically has a good reputation and I wanted to try it out. These were not designed for impact tools even though they did very well in testing. This one actually is designed for impact tools. You'll notice I don't have the packaging here for this one but this is really easy to look up. So let's go ahead and start with how this one did right here. All right, what you're looking at is a number two bit. This is the Makita Gold that you just saw on the right, right down there. And this ended up driving 408 three inch drywall screws and removing them from a four by four piece of pine. So not only was I driving these three inch fasteners, but I was also removing them. So you're talking about a lot of uh, driving and undriving. You can see how on the base here it wore a little bit asymmetrically. And the reason for that is because we were using this driver extension right here or this driver adapter. And if you look down there, you'll see that it's asymmetrically worn too. That's because this is at, at, at an angle. And if I put this bit in here, you'll see See how it kind of wobbles and it's crooked? This was a really junky extension, but uh, you can see it didn't break and this thing drove about 1,200 fasteners and removed about 1,200 fasteners. So, um, would I buy it again? No, it's just, it's stupid that they didn't make the base, that magnet in there, level. It's not the bits, it's the actual base in there and you can see it wobbling. So as this was turning at high speed, it's actually wobbling within the the screw head uh, which would actually serve to put a little bit of additional wear uh, on the uh, on the driver bits so you know this thing that was definitely not easy on them in any case like I said this did 408 uh, of those three inch drywall screws uh, before it slipped three times consecutively where I put the uh, impact driver or the bit on the screw and I tried to either run it in or run it out and it slipped so I reapplied it, slipped again, reapplied it, slipped again. So that was uh, the failure point, three consecutive slips. Now over on the Bosch side, we actually didn't get to a point uh, that it could have slipped. Instead, you can see that the tip of the Phillips actually sheared or cracked off. Now when this happened, it happened on a very hard piece of wood. I think we hit a knot or it might have been an adjacent uh, drywall screw, but it's, it stopped dead. As soon as this thing broke, I switched back over to the Makita bit and ran it in the same hole, and it also failed to drive the bit any further. But instead of breaking, it just sheared out uh, the, uh, the head of the drywall screw. And you can see some various drywall screws that were extremely worn and, uh, and rounded out. So I will say that with Makita, when the drywall screw stopped, this continued to turn and it would just round or cam out of the screw head. In the case where this one stopped, again, it's not an impact design bit, although its track record is awesome. Uh, you can see that this particular one did break. I was a little bit sad to see it go. And this one made it to 217 drywall screws. Now that's removing, that's uh, installing and removing, by the way, before it broke. So 
did quite well. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with it. I'm surprised that it lasted as long as it did. I did all of the driving with the uh, Milwaukee fuel, the 12 volt fuel here. So when it comes to the absolute best number two Phillips bit out there, I'm gonna have to say that it's the Makita Gold. It just, uh, just did a great job. I, I'll say in the back of my mind, I was actually kind of rooting for the Bosch. Um, I like Bosch, uh, the Bosch company a lot, probably a little bit better than Makita overall, but it is what it is. And the Makita ended up uh, winning. Uh, you know, it didn't shear off, it didn't break. And I think that this is a very good bit. Now, uh, to be real scientific about it, you'd have to run this test, you know, at least another half a dozen times to, to be very conclusive. But I'll tell you, it's, it's a lot of work. I mean, in total, in testing all these drivers and everything, I think I went through 11 or 1200 three inch drywall screws, running them in the 4x4 and back out. I actually had to go get a second uh, 4x4 to get all the tests done because each 4x4 would only allow me to do about approximately 675 uh, drywall screws. So, in any case, there you have it. Now that we've decided a bit champion, let's go ahead and just talk about some of these different accessories. I mentioned that I was using this uh, cobalt bit holder. I've, I've also got a Bosch bit holder here. I've got a, what is this? Oh gosh, I can't remember. I have to go look. Hold on. Okay, it's a cobalt bit holder. It came with a few extra uh, bits, but what I liked about this is that it was shorter overall. The shorter this uh, this bit holder is the more control it's typically going to give you. Now it's not going to uh, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of reach. So if reach is an issue, obviously you want to go with a longer bit or a bit holder. But uh, typically I like one that's a little bit shorter. It stays closer into the tool, and it's going to give you a bit more control. You can see that one fits pretty tightly. Now the reason that we use these bit holders with these uh, one inch bits like this is because they're too short to work in the tool by themselves. They'll kind of get, you know, lost in there to where you can't pull them out without uh, a little difficulty. So the standard for most of these drivers is a two inch bit like this. This is kind of the standard. This is going to give you the most control when you're working. It'll prevent, you know, a lot of wobble out. And because there's no bit uh, extension or holder, it eliminates the possibility of a, another piece in your link from being out of center or off balance or that kind of thing. Like I said, this thing was terrible and the bits wobble inside of it. The Bosch is quite a bit better. If I turn, if I turn this Bosch, you can see that the tip does not wander around a whole lot like it does with, uh, uh, with this uh, cobalt extension. This new cobalt here, let's check it out. Actually, let's just put it inside the tool. I have to pull the battery off of here. I hope this battery isn't dead because I just finished up with the test and that might be the case. But yeah, you can see this also has a wobble to it. So, you know, at this point, with all these crappy tools or these uh, crappy bit extensions, you know, I think this one suffers from the same problem. It's not even at the base. Now, the reason uh, that I picked this one up is that it positively holds with a little ring right there. When I push this in, it retracts that, but uh, it positively holds the bit in there. And what I would run into when I was uh, driving those drywall screws with this is the bit was actually uh, getting stuck in the drywall screw and I would pull this away and the bit would still be sitting there. Now I will say that's another thing that the uh, the Makita did not tend to stick inside the screw head. With the Bosch rib tip here you can see those little teeth up there. They call those the ribs. I think that they were biting into the drywall screw a little bit and a lot of times I would take the impact driver off and the bit would stay there and so I'd have to you know shove that back down in a bit and pull it out. I will say that the uh, Makita uh, stayed inside of the magnetic holder. So this is only held by a magnet. Uh, this one here, again, only held by a magnet on the Bosch. It's a pretty strong magnet, but still, if it gets stuck in there, those little ribs bite into whatever fastener you're using, it can get stuck. This one has a little collet on it here, and it actually holds it so that it cannot come out unless you lift up on the collet 
and pull it out. So I do like that. But again, this thing isn't square and you can see that that bit wobbles. When that bit wobbles in the head of the fastener, it tends to it cause a little bit more bit wear and it's gonna round out or um, cause a little bit of rounding to the sharp edges here on the screw. And typically, you're not running these in and out dozens of times, so it, it doesn't really make a big difference, but it will cause a little extra wear here on the bit itself. Those little uh, Makita gold impact bits that I have came with this little set and it came with this little driver extension here. And it's a little bit hard to tell on this one, but this one does seem fairly straight. So with the Makita bit holder, it seems to do a pretty good job. Additionally, uh, you can see in here that it actually is positively retained with both a magnet uh, and a little snap ring inside of there that bites into these little grooves right here on the bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. So very good positive retention. This is just a magnet to hold your fastener. So when this is on here, the fastener will actually stay attached, which is really great. Uh, I actually use this extension at work and, uh, and it's great because it, it's like having an extra hand. On to some other ideas. If you're going to own an impact driver, you're going to want a good variety of, of tools. You can see that a kit like this comes with flat blades, square heads, some torques uh, somewhere in here, over down here, some more square heads, some uh, Phillips. You know, now that I'm using these, uh, the Bosch and the Makita, uh, driver tips, you know, to me these are just like extras because I, I know that probably nothing else is going to perform as well as, as the two bits that I just used. I was so impressed with these, with those bits. I mean, I was just amazed. You can see, oh, here's another little uh, bit holder. And you can see this one, you lift this ring and it'll let you get inside of an angled space. But again, it is a little bit longer. So when you attach this to the tool, you might not have this working space here. So having a standard two inch bit option or the sh shortest overall tool length possible. You can see that there's a three inch extension in here. I, I just don't tend to use those unless I need more reach. Uh, if I need more reach, I'll usually use a bit holder like this. Uh, oh, by the way, the other nice thing about using a bit holder these can be purchased relatively inexpensively, these one inch options. So this little package here of rib tip, there's 15 pieces in there and I think it's about four bucks. If you start buying the two inch Bosch rib tip, it's gonna be about three times the price. So you'll be paying about $4 for five of these instead of $4 for 15 of them. So that's the other nice thing that these little bit holders give you. You can go with these one inch bits and be able to purchase more of them uh, for the same amount of money. Okay, here's another little uh, kit. Actually, this one was by Ryobi, by the way. Uh, I tend to buy whatever's on sale. If it's a reasonable name, I tend to buy name brand stuff. I don't do a lot of Harbor Freight or anything, although I'm sure some of that stuff is fine too. Uh, this is a little Cobalt Speed Fit kit, and you can see that these are actually drill bits with uh, hex shanks on them, so it's gonna fit into the, uh, the impact driver. So uh, obviously a round uh, drill bit is not gonna fit in here. So you're gonna have to go with uh, something like this. Now you can get a, a keyless chuck for an impact driver. That's an option, but a lot of those are not rated very well. I, I don't think people typically have very good luck with those uh, keyless chucks that, that you can add to uh, an impact driver. So, you know, do the research yourself and see what you think, but they don't get a lot of pro positive reviews. It's typically a two and a half or a three star out of five uh, rating. Just another little uh, kit gives you an option to be able to, to drill uh, with your impact driver. All right, guys, so there you have it, uh, the wrap up for my impact driver series. I, I hope it was helpful. It was a lot of work doing that bit test, so I hope that that's beneficial to some of you guys out there. I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these because, you know, the Bosch is a proven design. If you see them on sale and you can't find the Makita, I'd say there's, there's nothing wrong with the Bosch. If you find these around, you won't di be disappointed. I think this little kit with this driver here was 18 or 19 bucks, and it came with, uh, I think, 15 of these uh, Impact Gold bits. I'm pretty pretty happy and I think I'll be using those. In fact, it's actually what I'm using at, uh, at work right now inside of this setup right here.
in this little Hitachi. So it seems to work really well and you can see the uh, the bit does have some wear on it, but it's done a whole lot less work than this guy. This is this is almost a trophy to me. By the way, guys, I was thinking of uh, just running this thing until it snapped or it completely failed. Remember, I did this all on a 12 volt on the uh, 12 volt fuel. So I was thinking about throwing it in the 20 volt and seeing what I could uh, make happen. But I mean, after a while, I, I was starting to feel endeared to this little thing. This is like a trophy for me. It's like a you know a war comrade or something. So <laughs> I'll probably put that on my uh, on my trophy shelf. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, appreciate uh, all the views and likes, and we'll see you later. Patriot out. Now, don't be too confused. This actually is part three of my uh, impact series. Impact series? Uh, impact driver series. Okay, there we go. Let's try Pro tool reviews com. And if you go to a title, I'll uh, try to remember to put this in the description. Uh, Oh my goodness. What you're looking at right now on the table are the contenders over on the now gosh. What you're looking at right now on the on the table, gosh, can you speak tonight? Hey guys, Patriot coming to you tonight from the kitchen. That's not very cool.